From Emma Jacobs' constant lies to Stella Kid's super obnoxious personality, these are the three Chicago Fire characters that fans absolutely hate in 2023. Let's start off with Emma Jacobs. Played by Caitlin Carver, she's been annoying fans since the start of the show. I mean, to be fair, it was planned that way. She tried right away to take Violet's job as a doctor, and she did everything she could that was against the law to make it happen. Not just this, as the actress surprised everyone by coming back in season 11. So it looks like that Violet hatred era is still going strong. All signs point to the character coming back and making things hard for the 51 employees, which we get, but can't say we're happy about, even more so after all Violet's been through. I know you're wondering what exactly she does that makes fans hate her so much. Well, you see, it's mostly her lies and attitude. During What's Inside You, Darren Ritter catches Emma in a pretty big lie. She didn't go to Johns Hopkins University, the famous medical school she told everyone everyone she went to. So since then, fans have been giving her a lot of side-eye because of this and the plan she seems to have on Brett's spot. Could Emma find out about Violet's secret relationship with Evan Hawkins and use that against her? Both Violet and Hawkins are already in trouble with department heads because they were caught kissing on the job during Hot and Fast. So now, obviously, it wouldn't take much more for Violet to get into big trouble. Many think that Emma might be trying to get Violet out of the way just so that she can keep her job at Engine 51. In fact, one of them even talked about what if Emma tries to hurt Violet so that she can stay on Ambo 61 when Brett comes back. And they know that she'd literally do anything to get Violet or Brett kicked out of 51 so she can move in. Due to her Johns Hopkins lie, some also think she might be a habitual liar. Fans are wondering if the CFD might have hired Emma to spy on Hawkins and Violet. But fans will have to keep watching Chicago Fire to find out who Emma really is. This brings me to the next most annoying character of the show, Seth Prima. Played by Troy Winbush, he's a police cop who shows up on Chicago Fire instead of Chicago PD. And that itself is a pretty rare case. Most of the time, he talks to Severide especially about the case regarding crime boss Vin Martucci. This guy has done his best to balance Severide's wishes with his own professional goals, but the fact that he's mostly ignored the attempts on Severide's life and even kids means that we don't exactly feel sorry for him. The detective works in the homicide section of the CPD, and when Severide found drugs in a burning fuel truck, he told Thomas Campbell that they belonged to him. Later, he got an ex-cop named Danny Cavanaugh in trouble after Cavanaugh told Campbell where to find Kelly and his new wife Stella. After the failed hit, Prima thought about making a deal with Cavanaugh in return for taking down Vin Martucci, a bigger mob boss. But Severide wouldn't have it. He took the attempt on his and Stella's lives on their wedding night very personally. So what is it about him that made fans hate him? You see, Detective Prima may have started off as a seemingly helpful ally to our favorite firefighters. But as time went on, fans started to notice these major red flags. For starters, he's known for his abrasive and arrogant personality, which rubs a lot of people the wrong way. He has a tendency to act like he's better than everyone else, which can make him difficult to root for. But that's not all. Many fans have also taken issue with the way Prima treats our beloved characters. He's been known to be downright cruel at times, often questioning their motives and treating them like criminals rather than the heroes they are. This has led to some major clashes with the firehouse crew, particularly with our very own Lieutenant Casey. And other than that, he's been known to bend the rules to get what he wants and has even been accused of outright corruption. This has led many fans to question whether he's really on the side of justice or if he's just out for personal gain. Speaking of personal gain, let's talk about the character who always ends up causing a lot of trouble, Stella Kidd 
Played by Miranda Ray Mayo, she's so often the one to make unpopular choices because she's the one who starts many of the stories. She didn't answer Severide's calls when she was traveling with the Girls on Fire program. And what's even worse is how she's been pretty critical of Carver, even though she knows about his sad past. Although her character has made some good choices, too, it's a bit much to say that she wouldn't mind if Carver got moved. I mean, come on, Stella. In fact, what fans hate even more is how Chicago Fire is turning into the Stella Kid show. Fans mentioned that they aren't happy with Stella Kid this season of Chicago Fire. They said that they loved the character from the start, but the past season has been terrible for Stella. And that's because they hated how she interacted with Carver and Seeger. For example, remember the time when she asked Carver to help her with her officer's quarters? Well, it was around the time when she'd labeled his life as a train wreck. I mean, that's just plain rude. They also begged the writers to bring back the old Stella, especially because they've started disliking her acting too. What's more? Well, another fan said that they hate how much the show revolves around her and that she's become annoying to an unbearable extent. So much so that they've stopped watching the show entirely because of her character. Putting it in simple words, a lot of them just don't like the character's storyline. It doesn't help that her big story this season is mostly about Carver. And we all know how Carver's story is. Yikes! Her story being so connected to Carver's boring and pointless one doesn't make Carver interesting. Instead, it makes Stella less interesting. Stella's written to be a Mary Sue, which is one of the main things fans worry about these days. The writers wanted a woman to be the main character, and they found the right actress for the part, who would have done a great job. But then they screwed up. Instead of making her feel like a real person like the other, who makes mistakes and can be wrong, they wrote her as the cleanest, most perfect, always right demigod who knows more more than anyone else. And to top it all off, the writers couldn't think of any other way to show how great she was than to have her always be involved in someone else's business making her character look better after making others look bad. But the writers must have thought that wasn't enough for a female star. So they killed off her character to fix problems that didn't exist. And since this season is all about Stella, it's just become more clear. Because now, instead of the old Stella kid, who was cool and attractive and could have been a great leader just as she was, we have a character that most people hate. Eight. Well, this is it, guys. These were the three Chicago Fire characters that fans hate in 2023.